In this video, you're going to learn how to turn this into this. You know I'm always honest. So this is a new tool, a new AI tool that you can get for free in Audacity. It's a suite of plugins called OpenVINO by Intel. And if you head over to this website here, I'll leave a link in the description and make sure that you're updated to the latest version of Audacity. You can download and install these plugins. It's a suite of plugins, but the plugin that's included that we're going to be using is the music separation plugin. So to get this installed, you download these two files linked up here. And once downloaded, you want to unzip these two files and copy the contents into your Audacity installation file. So wherever you, your Audacity EXE is, which for me is in local disk program folders Audacity, you're just going to copy what's in these folders. So the OpenVINO modules folder and the contents of this folder, just going to paste it straight in. You might want to back up this folder before you make any changes. And then once you've done that, launch Audacity. It might come up with a little installation window. And then once that's done, just give it another restart. And you should find the effect in effects, audacity, and music separation, open Vino. So let's have a look at how this works. So I've got a track here. Okay, so we've got some drums, bass, instrumentation, vocals in there. So if we highlight that and go to music separation, and there are two options. You've got the four stem, where you're going to get drums, bass, vocals, and the rest of the instruments. Or if you just want the, the instrumental with the vocals, let's try both of them. Let's go for the full one first. All right, now we've got the drums there. And the bass. Okay, and then the instrumentation. And then the vocals. Never stop, don't get it if I want it. Gotta make to myself a plummet. So that is all it takes. It literally takes seconds, and that is really impressive, that result. Like even some of the paid tools that you get, they don't really sound any better than that. Obviously, it's never gonna sound perfect, like you've got the separate stems from the mixing engineer or something. But if you want a backing track to record to, or if you find a piece of music you want to use for a podcast, for example, but you don't want the vocals on there, then that's kind of perfect. Let's try just the instrument and vocal separation as well. Keep going till I got it. What about how they... Let's hear how they sound together. Never stop, don't get it if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise. I won't quit, keep going to the original. I, I won't give up till I'm on top. Yeah. You know I'm yeah, I mean, it's not even losing that much audio quality. It's a really solid tool. And then if we try another another genre of music here that's got a little bit less clarity, some distorted guitars and things. Don't you think that it's time to So there's a lot going on in there. Let's give that one a go with the four track. Okay. Don't you think that it's time to make a change? Right, so it doesn't sound as good. I think this is definitely going to be more effective for electronic music, uh, less busy songs, but it still sounds pretty good, especially for a free tool. Let's just have a listen without the vocals, just the instrumentation.
Yeah, I mean, it sounds a bit warbly, but the most important thing is you can't hear the vocals at all, which is pretty cool. So that's how to separate vocals and instruments for free in Audacity. Let me know in the comments below if you give this a go and let me know what you think. And for more audio software tutorials and podcast production tips and tricks, hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.